Guy Suburban Home Nut here. Today is October, I think, 28th, getting ready for Halloween. Now, about, I don't know, 10 days ago or so, I put down some granular fertilizer, Sunnyland 1608 Nitro Green. And today, I'm going to be spraying some liquid fertilizer. Now, I haven't mowed this, and I'm not going to mow it until November the 1st. We want to make sure that we get this grass really, really green. So, hopefully you can see the difference between that and that. But this is the area that we're going to be spraying right now. This is a thousand square feet all the way through here. And this area back here. So that is a thousand square feet. And I'm using the Sunday right here, the Fall Fortify. This is the last time that I'm going to be using the Sunday, as I've already said. But let's get to it and we'll see what happens. Today we are going to be talking about Sunday Lawn Care. Yeah, we're going to talk about the pros and cons, what it is how much it is and who can benefit from it. And I'm also gonna talk about why I canceled my subscription. Sunday Lawn Care is basically a one-stop shop for liquid fertilizer. What you do is you go on their site and choose from, I think, four different subscriptions or plans. Price can range from about 230 for the basic care plan to I think around 300 bucks for the higher end. They offer liquid fertilizers like this right here, weed control, pest control, seeds, and a lot more. Now you start with a soil sample. Uh, they send you this, you know, this little cup, you know, I know it's about that big. You put four or five samples from different parts of your yard in there, and then you send it back to them and it's all prepaid. Then they email you the results with a customized plan that fits your grass type. The plan I got was the highest. Um, I think it was around 280 or 300 bucks. One box is delivered, you know, it looks just like this. Uh, it's delivered four times per year with liquid fertilizer. There were some other things in there, like this dandelion doom. You can see that right there uh, but you know it's just basically iron but really it's a liquid fertilizer that's a main product as you can see these are hose-in sprayers that you simply attach right here you have a sprayer and you just put this in there and tighten that on and then you put the hose on there and then you just spray it on your grass the bags are about 42 ounces and they cover 5,000 square feet but you're going to use two bags per application so really each bag one bag covers about 2,500 square feet. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes to empty one bag, so it might take you around 40 to 50 minutes to do a 5,000 square foot lawn. These are the three products that I have. Um, I have the Fall Fortify right here. Uh, it has an NPK of 20, 2200 with calcium of 1% and iron of 0.5%. And hopefully we can see right there, it says 2200 and down there, Hopefully, you can, see, you can see that I'm trying to get the glare off of here. Calcium is 1% and iron is 0.5%. At least it's chelated iron. And I don't know, again, if you can't see this, but it's 4.4% slow release nitrogen. Now, the thing about the Fall Fortify is, in my opinion, the low iron content. You, we can get ironite for about 3% for the granular and 1% for the liquid. And next we have Southeast Nutrients, Potassium Nutrient Stress Tolerance, and Nitrogen Plant Growth. If we flip it over, we can see it has NPK of 1806 and uh, looks to be like 3.6% slow available nitrogen. There's no micronutrients in this one. And it's the same thing, it covers 5,000 square feet. For their ingredients, they claim to use healthier things like molasses and soybean and iron and seaweed. They don't use any synthetics as far as I know. And each box comes with instructions on how to use it and how much to apply. As we can see the instructions right here, it tells you what's up there. And then today-ish, November 13th through the 20th, that's what you put down. And the first, second, and third box, I thought I got four, but maybe I'm only getting three. I could have sworn I was getting four. Recording this video a little backwards. Let's go out to the lawn and we're gonna go spray, spray to over a thousand square feet and then we'll come back here and finish up with some of the pros and cons. Hook it up to any normal garden hose and you're good to go. And it takes about 10 minutes to empty this bag. I've already done 1,000 square feet, so it starts right there at four. Now it's down to two right there. I've already done that 1,000 square feet right here. And then the last 20 ounces is gonna go on what I just showed you. This is why it's so important that we mark off our property in 1,000 square feet chunks because it makes life a lot easier when you're spraying these things.
And as you can see, that was pretty easy. So let's talk about some of the pros. Now it does cost less than a full service lawn care company. And all the products are natural, like I said, and uh, it does cut down on any synthetics that you might be using currently on your lawn. You have a customized plan for your lawn and its needs, and obviously the products are really, really easy. Again, you have the hose and sprayer, just hook a hose on there, spray it, and you're done. Now some of the cons are obviously you're going to need to do it yourself. There's no pre-emergent, which I'm really, really, I, I didn't like that that it didn't come with a pre-emergent, you know, so if pre-emergent is important to you, then, uh, you know, this might not be for you. The weed control is lacking, and as far as I know, it's limited to lawns of about 13,000 square feet. All right, so why did I cancel my plan only after one year? Well, I found that really for those that are serious about taking care of their lawns, Sunday plans are really lacking. Like I said, there's no pre-emergent, and my grass needs to be fed more than four times per year, you know, three or four times per year. This is kind of interesting. I wanna show you how much actual nitrogen you're getting per 1,000 square feet. I'll leave the links to the sites below, both for the granular and the liquid. You can kind of play around with those when you get a chance. Now I have 2,500 square feet because that's what one bag covers, and that's at a rate of 0.3 pounds per 1,000 square feet, and I'm using the Fall Fortify at an NPK of 2200. The bag is 42 fluid ounces and the total weight is 3.3 pounds. And we can see that we get 0 0.03 pounds of nitrogen for the entire bag. I have St. Augustine and I live in Florida. My lawn is hungry for nutrients and I like to put down between a half to three quarters of a pound nitrogen per application. Unfortunately, Sunday doesn't come close to that. Also, my understanding is fast release fertilizers like liquid fertilizers used exclusively, and I'm saying that used exclusively, can assist in producing thatch. Now, of course, that's not the only reason, but it may contribute to it along with shallow watering and not mowing often enough and other reasons. Again, I have St. Augustine, and the last thing that I want is thatch. So the main question is, does this work? Well, if we define work as your grass will green up, then the answer is probably yes. However, other things must be taken into consideration, like really how green is green? You know, my green may not be the same as your green. And how about root health? Does this do the job? I've had a lot of good success with this, with the microgreen, the RGS, and the humic acid, and that really sustains root growth. The RGS has already has a little bit of humic acid in there, along with fulvic acid and sea kelp. And also the most important part is, really we get out of it what we put into it. You know, we've heard that a thousand times. Now with Sunday, we get one box three or four times a year, we water it in and it's done. Now maybe you don't have a lot of time to do a deep dive in here and to research all, all of this stuff. And maybe you don't want to. Maybe you're selling your house and you just want a green pop. There's lots of variables to consider when we're talking about lawn care and what, y what you want and what your lawn needs. But if you're really into lawn care, like I am, I think you'd be better served by doing research and taking care of your own lawn. They sell single bags at Walmart. I think they're about 17 bucks a piece. So this could be something that you might wanna add on to your fertilizing program. But for me, I like to know about fertilizers and pesticides and fungicides and when and where I can put them down. What's the difference between you know, synthetic and biosolids? What's the difference between Sunnyland Nitro Green 1608, which I use, and Melorganite 640? So the variables need to be taken into consideration, like time, price, expertise, and really what you're willing to put in to your lawn. All right, guys, my job is done. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis? Halloween is coming up. I'm really looking forward to it this year. Because this grass is going to be completely and totally awesome. Take a look at that. That is deep, dark green, and it's going to get even better. So I'm letting this grow. Haven't mowed it in about three or four days. And remember, I put down the granular, Sunnyland 1608, about two weeks ago. Sprayed it with liquid fertilizer. Really looking forward to it. Let's see what this thing does in the next couple days. Take care.